What is up guys? It's finally here. Yes. I've partnered up with the Lego group to bring you a show that we're so excited, <laughs> so proud, Woo! and so honored to be a part of. Over the next month or so, we'll be putting our own spin on one of my favorite TV shows, Lego Masters. So it's my honor to present Lego Amateurs. Hello and welcome to the very first episode of LEGO Amateurs. Unlike LEGO Masters, we start off every episode with a mini challenge. This not only gets the creative juices flowing, but it also determines who will lose 10 minutes off of the main challenge. In this mini challenge, each person will take turns pulling a brick without looking. They will then stack that brick on top of the last however they like. The person who knocks down the tower loses. It's happening! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so satisfying. There it is. I'm in. Look at your confidence. Not even touching Hold the, the base. base. Oh, that was solid. Okay. She's in. Oh, okay. Oh, man. <gasps> oh, she got it. Ooh, smart. Nice. Oh, okay. The game's getting serious now. <gasps> they call me Mr. Window. Oh. <laughs> I'll go the opposite way. Oh, okay. At least you counterbalanced. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> no way. You got, you got it, Dana. Oh. Welcome home. Oh. oh. oh this is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, that Just is. like that. It's that white brick on the window. Yeah, that's, that's so gonna be what gives. Yeah, definitely. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> 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 End game. I can't play this game. My heart. I did not expect it to fall there. Welcome to the show where anyone can be a Lego master. But that name was taken for another show already, so we're calling this. Each week we'll have our three contestants compete in different challenges to decide who is this week's Lego Mass Amateur. My name is Greg and I'll be your host, contestant, videographer, editor, and host of Lego Mass A Amateurs. Let's get building. What? Does that mean he knows all the challenges too? For our main challenge, the contestants will have two hours to use every LEGO brick from the LEGO Medium Creative Brick Box. The catch is, all bricks must be placed on top of a single 6x8 plate. Once complete, we will put each build up against multiple levels of win. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. My plan is to first I have no idea. I have no plan. Yeah, how are we supposed to incorporate wheels? I don't know. Oh, Jacob's sorting by color. Oh, you're a color guy, huh? I'll have to admit, I'm a little intimidated going up against Greg and Dana because they're so creative and just amazing builders in general, anything they do. I'm going to try to rely on my efficiency. Yeah. Oh, look, don't look. What are you sorting by, Dana? Uh, oh. <laughs> Nothing. I'm sorry, Dana. Slowest 10 minutes I've ever experienced. Sketch, sketchy. There's eyes in the set. Animal, we're doing an animal. The most stable animal on the planet, in my opinion, is like an elephant, right? Like, the only thing is, elephants don't have wheels. I'm gonna figure that out. I don't have a strategy yet. Um, I figure aesthetically I want it to look somewhat good, so I'm trying to organize by color first, but I'm running into all these pieces that I have no idea what to do with, and these guys, I think they're gonna be the hardest. Five, four, three, two, one. You may build. 
<laughs> For my strategy, I'm going to pair my bricks by shape in hopes that I can get a better idea of my inventory. Okay, so I'm going for like a rainbow colored elephant. This is the back side, got a tail going. Wait, do elephants have tails? Elephants have tails, right? Elephants have tails. So the color thing did not work out for me whatsoever because the pieces are so different. And I tried to start out doing colors and realized quickly that it didn't work. So I'm just gonna go for the win and get like a really solid center base and hopefully it won't knock over. Aesthetically, it may not be the prettiest, but I'm hoping like by the end, it'll just come together. So I have a super secret plan of sticking with a box-like structure so I can essentially put any leftover pieces inside. No one's gonna know. So my secret is there's some room inside of my build where I can just dump all the extra pieces in. So I think that's gonna put me ahead of them. So I came up with a backup plan that I think is genius. The inside of mine is completely hollow so I can put any extra pieces I don't use inside there. No one's gonna think of that. All right, contestants, 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left. It's coming together. I keep looking over at theirs and theirs look amazing, but I think I'm ahead on the brick count. I think my build's going good. I had uh, plenty of time to prepare. <laughs> so, um, got all these wheels. Don't know what to do with them. Cause obviously elephants don't have wheels. Instead, I'm gonna use them to make the, the trunk. I'm done. He's done already? I have half my Lego bricks still. I'm banking on my story. You got a good story? No. seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, one and a half. Point five. Point three five milliseconds and time. All right, guys. Picture this: we are in the distant future, post-apocalyptic world. This is the armadillo driven by the furious foo on the upset road, and in the future. Tires are hard to come by, so we're collecting spare tires this whole time, you know, and, and I just wanted to make sure that no enemies could get in through the sides, but also wanted to be aerodynamic because we're facing really high winds. The wind's gonna come and just go whoosh, right past it. Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, that, that's impressive. that. Impressive. Are we supposed to clap? It looks like uh, a Picasso, you know, like a painting 3D yeah. version. My favorite thing about what you made is that you incorporated the brick separator, which yes. I don't even think we were required to use that as a piece. So. I wasn't sure, so I did it anyways. Are you ready to balance the storm? What do we call in this challenge? To Sir? weather the wind, weather the weather. Bit balance beat down. <laughs> Let's just turn the fan on. Okay. Mm. Level one. 
Let's go, Armadrillo. Let's go. Easy. Not even phase. Amazing. Level two. <laughs> Level three. Look at that. Level four. Level four. Okay, I'm happy with my overall performance. It withstood all the challenge of the wind, and you know, it's not the prettiest, but I like my story, and it's a pretty cool name, Armadrillo. When we were introduced to the concept of building a structure that can withstand high winds, I was taken aback to my childhood. Three little pigs where the wolf had to defeat the house of bricks. So I went with kind of like a sturdy house that the wolf was inspired with. Oh, so this is the wolf's house, I complete like with some teeth cannons. Teeth cannons. And some claw graspers to, you know, really take hold of that wind. Ah. And even a little uh, wolf propeller for, ah. for giggles. Looks like the wolf was a hoarder. <laughs> the Put. biggest piece right on top of the base. There's like tiny oh, pegs. Smart. Well, amazing job, especially with the amount of time you had. You started 10 minutes after mm -hmm. us. I will say, you are very unique for putting all the pieces inside of the house. I've never seen that done before. That was a joke. We all did that. <laughs> I just, I love the aesthetics of it. Like the way you use the curved pieces at the bottom, it just Ooh. looks like it has such a solid base. Of and this. it looks like a wolf, points on that, kudos. Thanks. All right, let's see if it'll <sighs> outlast the storm. What are we calling this? Whether, whether the wind. Whether or not it will balance. When, when, when do we eat? Who's the winder? Where's the fan at? Oh, it's just a cool breeze for her. Oh, wolfy. It? Wolfy. Ooh, this must be twigs. Mmm. Brick. brick? Well, if the straw survived, the bricks are nowhere. For level four. Uh huh. I'm pretty proud of my wolf house. I started this main challenge with not a clear idea in mind, but um, I got to see my character come to life and pretty happy with it. So this is a elephant. Biggest animal on the planet. That is not true. Um, but have you ever seen an elephant trip or fall? This is Billy the Balancing Elephant. I don't know what else to say. I think your structure speaks for itself. My favorite is the trunk. I think that's uh, excellent use of the tires. Yeah, when you said you were gonna build an elephant, I'm like, no way. I did not think you'd pull off something this accurate. It's crazy. It looks like he's wearing like kicks. Uh, like oh, some, shoes? Yeah, some, some nice sneakers. Yeah. That is a cool element. And I love the tail and the tusk. And it's a maraca. <laughs> All right, Billy, you got this. You think his ears are gonna catch the wind? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Level two. 
Level three. All right. Look at that. It's the sh it's the legs. Yeah. Some days you need to skip leg day. Be more aerodynamic. So mine was the only one that fell, but you know, I had a blast and I think, I think Billy looked pretty awesome in the end. Hey guys, thanks for watching the first episode of LEGO Amateurs. Hope you enjoyed that. Check in the description below. We've linked to the same set that we use so that you can participate in the challenge. And if you post it on Instagram and tag this guy, we may share it in a future episode. And let us know in the comments below who you think won the challenge based on creativity, originality, and overall performance. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys on the next episode of LEGO Master. Amateurs. LEGO Amateurs. Hi guys. Hey, what's back here?